But the reason she couldn't stand me is that she always wanted to go to war with people. I don't want to go to war. She wanted to go. She wanted to stay in Syria. I took him out. She wanted to stay in Iraq. I took him out. I mean, if it were up to her, we'd, we'd be in 50 different countries. And, you know, number one, it's very dangerous. Number two, a lot of people get killed. And number three, I mean, it's very, very expensive. That's why we owe $36 trillion. We go, you know, it used to be you go to war to the victor, belong the spoils, right? In other words, if you beat a country, you own that country, you take the oil, you... We go to war, we bomb the crap out of it, and then we leave. You know, it's almost like, what are we doing? What, what's going on? We, we bombed the whole Middle East, and then we left. What did we get? We got nothing. We destroyed. I mean, we bombed the hell out of everything. Let's say anybody that went into the Middle East I thought was stupid, and he, they say, convinced Bush. Bush, oh, he was just, he was another beauty. But he supposedly convinced Bush to go in him, Bolton, and some other lightweights, convinced them to go in. Let's go into the Middle East and destroy the whole place and kill millions of people. So they went in. But I was never a fan of Cheney. I was always very critical. And when I announced that, I was very critical, actually, not personally, but I said, he made a horrible mistake. What are these people doing? They're spending, we spent, Nine trillion, trillion with a T, not even with a B. Normally I say not million, billion, but now I say not billion, trillion. We spent nine trillion dollars bombing the hell out of the Middle East. And what the hell did we get other than lots of dead people, all, including our people? We got nothing.